I'm Dory with the blog This Full Life 5 and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY modern address sign. So first let's talk supplies. For this project you need a wood board cut to size. The size is going to depend on how many numbers you have in your address. You're also going to need a pre-stain and some stain. I have a video that I did recently on how to stain wood, so I will link that. You will also need half inch by two inch wood trim cut to size, black paint. I used spray paint and then I had a can of regular black paint for touch-ups. And then you'll also need like a Gorilla Glue or a Super Glue for the letters and then you'll need black address letters and a tooth hanger. And I will link all of this below in the description. So first you're gonna need to stain your wood board. I started with the pre-stain and while the pre-stain was soaking in, I painted the trim, the first side of the trim and then moved back over to the board where I wiped the pre-stain off and then stained it with the regular stain. While that was seeping into the board, I turned the trim over and painted the other side of the trim and allowed that to dry while I moved back over to the board and wiped the excess stain off. When the stained wood board is finished, you are ready to attach your numbers. I flipped over the numbers and put glue where the screws would normally go in the numbers if you were screwing it in. Um, instead of using screws, I just filled those holes with glue and then attached them to the wood piece. And then I set a brick on top to uh, just allow it to adhere to the wood better. Uh, the, the glue that I used took about 30 seconds to dry or so, so I would set the brick on the letter or the number and move on to the next one. Now you're ready to attach the trim to the sides of your stained wood board. We did this using a hammer and some small nails. You could also glue it on. Um, you could also use a nail gun or a staple gun to attach them. It's really up to you. Uh, but we chose to just a hammer and nails and we nailed the trim in on every side. Then we used the black paint for some touch-ups and we were ready to attach the tooth hanger to the back. We flipped it over and attached the hanger with screws and then we were ready to hang it. Uh, how you're gonna hang it just depends on what you have on the outside of your house. We have brick and so uh, there was already a hole there from the previous address sign and so we just inserted a screw and then hang the sign on the brick. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. We've also done this project before with a ceramic wood look tile piece and I'm gonna link that below. It's on my blog so you can check that one out too if you'd like to try that out. For more on our blog, visit thisfullife5.com and we will see you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We put out new material each week.